To allow them to become flexible and give them the desired shape, the sheets of epoxy are first heated to 177 degrees centigrade. The epoxy sheet is then placed onto the original molds. The sheet is heated, then lifted off. Suction from a vacuum system makes it adhere perfectly to the shapes of the molds. Here we see the epoxy adhering to the master molds. Still hot and malleable, the plastic has to be cooled. A jet of compressed air effectively lowers its temperature. The mold undergoes a visual inspection to make certain of its quality. And now we move on to the chocolate. This melting unit, whose shell is fed by boiling water, is like a double boiler and melts 1,500 kilos of chocolate in 12 hours at 40 degrees centigrade. The ready-to-be-filled plastic molds are placed onto a conveyor. Filling is done automatically. Liquid chocolate runs directly into the molds. This particular machine produces 400 hearts a minute. The hearts are filled with a concoction of chocolate, cream, and coffee, which has been brewed for several minutes. It takes 20 minutes for the chocolate to set as the molds move along on this nine-level conveyor. Well hardened, the hearts arrive at the unmolding point. The molds are turned over and a rod lightly taps them on the bottom to allow the chocolates to fall out without being broken. Here the chocolates fall out onto a sheet. As soon as they've been emptied, the molds return to the starting point on the line to be newly filled. During their transport on the line, the chocolates complete their cooling and hardening. Now they're going to be prepared for packaging. Packaging depends on customers' preferences. The chocolates can be sold in bulk or placed into boxes. Here, 185 hearts are put into each box. Like the pure chocolate, white chocolate comes in as slabs before melting. Milk chocolate is often delivered in the form of three centimeter pastilles. Some chocolates are hollow. They have to be molded in two halves. These chocolate bears need special decoration applied by hand before the pouring of liquid chocolate. This decoration is made of white chocolate to which a colorant is added. In just one hour, they will make 1,200 bears. They're made by joining two hollow chocolate halves. The assembly is done using a refrigerated rotating machine. This machine turns the molds a full 360 degrees on two axes and vibrates the chocolates to prevent the formation of air bubbles. The chocolates rotate for five minutes before being sent to the cooling conveyor where they will remain for another 20 minute period. And now they're ready. At this point, the bears are unmolded and they head off for packaging. Each year, this company processes 500 tons of pure chocolate. Many thousands of products are made here using 400 different molds in a variety of sizes.